Let's have a look at how we can use the Ableton's comping feature uh, on MIDI uh, to come up with chord progression easily and be able to go between different chord progressions and come up with something new. What you need before we get started is some knowledge of music theory and how to create chords and then we need to create these chords here uh, manually and then once we have them we can put them in the uh, arrangement view in the take lanes and then from there we can come up with different ideas. So before we get started, let's create the chords. I've already created the chords here. It's in a C major scale and I have created the chords that are the seventh chords of the different modes of the scale, starting from C. And I have maybe some of the extended chords that are just uh, a bit different than the seventh chords. I think I only have one, it's the F major ninth chord. Now, if you, if you don't have the knowledge of music theory and you don't know what notes go in the chords, there is an easy way to do this and I'll show you here quickly. Let's create a new clip and let's enable the scale. This is also a new feature in Ableton 11. You can set the scale for the clip. Let's set it to scale C major and you can just fold the scale so it only shows you the notes of the scale. And in here, then we can easily create chords here. If you take the 1, 3, and 5 of uh, the root note, so let's say if you pick C and you want to create a chord on it. If you pick 1, which is C, C, D, E. So E is your second note and F, G. G is your third note. So three notes and then you have a triad. C, E, and this makes it really easy with the uh, scale feature in here. You can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1 is C, 3 is E, and 5 is G. And that gives you a C major chord. And then if you add the uh, 7th, so this is 5, 6, 7. Now you have a C major 7 chord. And they can do the same thing for the rest of the notes. So if you do create from D now your D is your root so we do D E F is your next one G A is your next one so now we have a chord now you have the second chord of the scale and then you can do the same thing for the rest so what we need to do is to create one clip for each chord as I have done here so now we need to create lane takes for the, this track and we do that by option T, option shift T and that will create the take lanes for these, this track and this is what's going to be used for comping. These all belong to this, pro, this one track that I have so if I minimize this they're all gone. And you can hide and unhide these take lanes by doing command option U or right click here and do show take lanes. You can also create the lane, the take lane by right clicking here, insert take lane. Now one thing you need to keep in mind, if you're in automation mode, you will not see the lanes there. So you need to make sure you're not in automation mode. Okay, now that we have created these lanes, let's bring these chords in here and it's a bit of a manual process one by one. Now that we have all these um, clips in here, these are all the chords that we have. We extend these by four bars and because they are loops, they're just going to be repeating themselves every one bar. Now the way comping works is you need to go in the draw mode by pressing B on your keyboard or click on this button here or right click here and go in the draw mode, the first option. Then you can just uh, select the part that you want for your comp and then your main track which is going to be this top track will be updated with the selections that you have. The nice thing about the Ableton comping which makes everything super easy is like if you have a selection uh, for example here if I have like a one bar here uh, wherever I click above or below this as long as it it falls within that one within within this clip length so anywhere from here to here 
it will uh, automatically select that length of a clip for that lane and then your main track also gets updated if you need to hide these lanes you can do command option u and then you have the track at the end that is uh, the comped version of these different takes let's uh, create a one bar selection and I'm gonna do uh, from I'm gonna start the chord progression from F we are in the key of C major so that becomes a Lydian mode so we started F and these are all one bar selected so I can easily select uh, anything else in that one bar and then I'm looking for a four bar chord progression so let's hear this and play around So I'm happy with that one, the first section of this, which is a four bar. Now I'm gonna extend this, duplicate this whole loop. So I wanna make it the eight bar progression now. If you're happy with that progression and now you can just hide the lanes and uh, you have this main track up here which is uh, which has the chords that you selected and now um, if you wanted to go in here as I did this as a whole and you can consolidate this and now you have a eight bar clip that has a chord progression in it and here you can go maybe make different adjustments and create different chords so that, this really makes it super easy to work with the chord progressions and come up with something uh, interesting. Now let's see what happens if we put an arpeggiator on top. Now I'm going to use the time calculator to set this to a dotted 8, um, set it to free running and then um, the value is 7, 375 for this BPM. As you can see, the, uh, using this method, you can easily now jam between different ideas and see what else you can come up with. Maybe you extend this to another eight bar loop and then you have a 16 bar uh, progression. I'm really excited about this new feature in Ableton Live and as I learn new things about it, I will share it with you guys. Until next time, stay in sync.